Hello everyone around the world joining this wonderful celebration of Ajahn Brahm's birthday with multiple meditations over many days to celebrate this auspicious event. I'm coming to you from Jana Grove where I'm in the eighth day of a quarantine period. I don't want to infect you with any virus that is traveling around the world at the moment. And I merely may wear this mask for a few minutes to ask as part of our meta that we support all the governments around the world and all the health professionals that are doing great things to follow their advice. Get vaccinated as soon as you can and make sure through that meta that you're actually sending meta to your dear ones, your near ones and strangers on the street that you pass by. What I would like to infect you with today is metta. I fell in love with metta as a word some years ago. And when I was looking for a name for myself, when I took ordination a few years ago, metta was very much in mind. And I was fortunate to find metta G was a monk in the time of the Buddha. And what I liked about that particular story about Metaji was that he had heard of this great teacher. He was a poet and he thought that this human being, this supreme teacher may be able to help him in his life. So we went from village to village and composed poetry to ask the villagers whether he was heading in the right direction or the wrong direction. So fortunately, Metaji, which according to my elders translates as victory through loving kindness, Metta to me has been one of those core and very important, as the Buddha would describe, divine abodes that we can access at any time. And it's such a wonderful opportunity through these special video series to zap you with Metta wherever you happen to be in the world and perhaps you'll zap me back. And the accumulation of that Metta which will just roll around the world for kind of many days is a beautiful manifestation of how I feel and celebrate Ajahn Brahm. I've been fortunate as a monk who's sort of old in years, but quite new as a, as a relatively young monk, uh, be my second reign shortly, that I was fortunate to run into Ajahn Brahm a second time after a gap of about nine years, and he gave me that superb meta gift of having a trial at Bodhinyana. For me, his day-to-day -day outlook is filled with metta, compassion, lots of jokes, some bad but some brilliant. And it's such an example to look towards, to enjoy that metta that he manifests and asks us to consider or rise to a similar standard. These videos are considered practice offerings. Some practice offerings happened about a year ago when some of you may remember that we tried to do teachings to help people struggling through COVID on a daily basis and multiple monks at Bodhinyana contributed and the nuns joined us too in putting out whatever we could in terms of compassion and comfort and asking people to gather together 
gathered together externally, helping whoever they could locally, but also gathered together internally with their resources to make sure that they were strong and kind and generous to yourself, to themselves. So these practice offerings are really meant to be a gift from us to you, but also in celebration of Ajahn Brahm's life, the amazing contribution that he's made, and the lineage that he's carried on that goes way back to the, the actual Buddha himself across millennium and millennium. To me, the benefits of metta meditation are, are manifold. One thing is that metta in particular can be accessed 24 by 7. You don't actually have to be sitting in a posture. When we take the word metta and we translate it into English, even the words loving kindness or friendliness to all without asking for anything in return may not do it justice. Metta is an emotion or a feeling. It's not meant to be an intellectual habit. And one of the things I've discovered of late is the need, um, the beautiful need, to invoke and induce metta more and more while you're in your meditation. To build it perhaps from a small flame at the heart, a, a generous feeling of loving kindness to all giving it per first perhaps to something that you really enjoy and gives you unconditional loving kindness. That could be a kitten or a puppy, um, a baby, a very favorite friend, uh, a beautiful grandmother. That's where you can start, but that's the very base kindling that I would say that you put into the meta and you want that to grow and grow and grow. And the feeling that comes from that metta is that you get to enjoy the experience, that as Ajahn continues to say very gently, meditation is meant to be fun. The Buddha said that we should incline our minds towards silence. The silence though can be filled with strong positive emotion that takes away any negativity that we felt when we sat down. Meditation helps you sleep better. Meta helps you be more kind and loving to people all around you. And it's the best antidote for anger that I've come across. Something that I need to remind myself on a daily basis when I can trip up and not deal with anger as best as I could. Metta is something that you can share and for people who may be suffering in hospital, um, in prison, uh, people that you can't see but you would like to send a feeling to, you can zap them with Metta. And you may find out if you were to call them later and you remembered the time that you zapped them, that they were actually thinking of you at that very same time. So metta has its benefits to us individually, but it also has enormous benefits to those that we want to share it with, and it enables us to go through our day as peaceful and as happy as possible. So I wish to dedicate this meditation First to Ajahn Brahm in the glorious celebration of his 70th birthday and for the almost half a century now that he's given selflessly to the community. I also want to dedicate it to you for joining this program and entering into the spirit of fun and happiness and ask that we zap everybody else who's in this video today linked up in this time frame, but wherever sentient beings are in the universe, that they benefit from our kindness and loving spirit. 
So let's gently close our eyes and start some meditation. I'll give my guidelines for the first um, 10 minutes or so in terms of how I would set up Metta from my recent experiences. And then um, I'll, be si I'll be silent um, probably for about 20 minutes. So I invite you to gently, with some grace, with some happiness, close your eyes gently. And allow yourself to enjoy this time. Say to yourself initially, this is my meditation time now. I'm just going to develop meta meditation. in silent, present awareness. This is my time now. I'm going to generate beautiful, strong meta meditation in silent, present moment awareness. Firstly, I'd like you to put down baggage of the past. And another bag that you're carrying called the future. Just go through the physical movement of putting down that bag from the past. And in your mind's eye, just see yourself putting it down on the floor, unwrapping your knuckles, placing it there on the ground. I do not need to examine the past whilst I'm in this meditation. Put that baggage down, that suitcase you carry around of the future. And in your mind's eye, go through the same motion, but this time, put the future bag down. In this meditation, I do not have to visit the future. This is my time. Generating meta, beautiful, glorious meta. 
and silent present moment awareness. Bring us further into the present moment before we move to the mind. I ask that we do a body sweep. A body sweep that starts the meta process. Imagine that you've got a little light probe. It's so spectacularly wonderful and competent. It can go down any blood vessel, look into any cell. And generate meta. warmth and compassion. Use that light probe inside now. Will you gently check from your toes upwards? Rose, how are you? And if the light probe finds any tension, it gives it a meta zap. Warm, soothing, generous. Gradually work your way up your body. Sensing. Feeling into the space. Pushing each part of the body. Happiness. Wellness, kindness, into your feet. ankles, the calves and the shins. your legs for supporting me. I hope I don't take you for granted. If 
have carried me many, many miles. And I'm deeply grateful. That light probe next, look at the knees. The hamstrings. And the quads. Ensure that that light probe is giving a beautiful internal nurturing massage. Now we come to the waist and the hips, the buttocks, we can carry a lot of tension here. Spend a little bit longer. See if you can sense anything that needs to move. It's a good time for wiggle time. Wiggle time to set you up in the best posture. That assists you to be calm and peaceful. I will reach into the torso. Chest, the heart area, but not forgetting the back. We can't see our back, but it gives us wonderful support in just about every activity in life. So we'll give you front and back and the heart area. Lots of goodness. Lots of kindness. Out of the shoulders. In busy lives. With all the stress and tension over the last 18 months around the world. We can carry some heavy burdens. 
and it solidifies into our muscles in the shoulders or between the shoulders and the neck so with that light probe your own sensitivity see what you can find there if it's tight or bunched up you might want to give it a gentle squeeze again send meta to your shoulders all the muscles holding the body up in that place and supporting the neck Thank you for supporting me. I'm very grateful. Let's have a look inside the neck. Let's move it a bit to see ask it to be peaceful and happy and in a fun place the next 40 minutes or so Here's the light probe Generating heat and warmth and meta to dissolve any tight spots. From the neck area, move to the jaw. We find we seem to store a lot of tension in our face. That's why people can sometimes read our internal mood by the expression on our face. So see if internally you can massage any tension you find around the jaw. using the light probe to show the way and again generating meta warmth unconditional kindness without asking anything back in return Too many points of tension around the lips around the eyes the forehead and lastly before we go into the meta proper and this is a bit of fun I suggest that you open the flip top of the head and take out that very busy brain it's been helping you for years and gently put it down in a soft comfy blankie give it a few strokes Thank you for all the hard work you've done on my behalf. Thank you for keeping me safe in the world. During this meditation, I offer you peace 
unconditional metta. Long periods of silence. So this special meta meditation please first come up with someone close to you someone that you have beautiful special regard for Someone that gives you unconditional love and kindness. See that person close to your heart area. these wonderful waves of metta. Into your heart area. Let them grow. kindling in a fire. And internally you're encouraging that matter to grow and grow. special person wants you to be loved unconditionally. They say to you many times, may you be happy. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be peaceful. Let metta land inside you. And over the next few minutes, just build up that beautiful, loving, nurturing feeling. First in your heart area, sending it to all parts of your body in waves of joy and bliss.
There's no limit to the amount of metta you can generate for yourself and other beings. So please grow and grow and grow that metta. For yourself, This very special meditation. Someone has come to sit with you. Ajahn Brahm sits down on a cushion just in front of you. His beautiful, beautiful smile. And says, May you be happy. May you be well. May you be peaceful. yourself with metta for yourself and all beings for the next 20 minutes while I remain silent please send metta to yourself Better to our jump round. Allow and receive the matter from Ajahn Brahm that he wants to send to you. Tap each other backwards and forwards. And we go into silence for about 20 minutes.
hope you're positively glowing now with metta. Radiant and joyous. It's been a fun, beautiful time in silence. Please replenish the matter. Build it up for a few seconds. Then send it out in wave after wave to all sentient beings on the planet and beyond. We're coming to the end of this meditation. Sajjan Ram recommends. How do you feel now? Are you more peaceful? More relaxed? Are there new emotions and learnings from this meditation that you can carry into your day and your week? That it can inoculate you wherever you travel. Inoculate you against greed, hatred and delusion. beautiful gifts that you can share with yourself, with your family, with your work colleagues, with strangers on the street. Nobel here in quarantine, so let me improvise. I'll pretend to ring a bell three times. Wait until the third sound, and then gently open your eyes to finish. Tingling. So thank you for spending time. I hope the meta meditation helped. It's always helped me enormously. I'm still learning. But the replenishment that it gives and to remember the opportunity of using meta as a divine abode in just about any circumstance in life. 
is something that I found extremely useful. I also want to thank all the Dharma teachers that have helped me over the years and the lineage that goes back to the time of the Buddha. This meditation was inspired by them and I'm so grateful that I found the teachings in this lifetime. It goes without saying that I wish Ajahn Brahm good health and happiness. New joke books that tickle his fancy and help him stay youthful. Lots of support and kindness for the meta projects that he tries to bring to Australia and other places and safe travels to him and the senior Ajans when they go to all parts of the world to try and help people understand the Buddhist teachings. I consider myself very lucky that I ran into Ajahn Brahm and in some respects I wish it had happened a lot earlier <laughs> but it did happen in this lifetime so I'm very grateful for that. I've seen many daily examples of Ajahn sharing metta, compassion and doing so many good deeds in a very selfless way. I just think this is a wonderful initiative that's been brought together to celebrate the 70th birthday. So I ask you to consider developing a daily practice, tilting the mind to silence, making the experience fun, always getting some enjoyment and lightness from the meditation. And Ajahn Brahm has always said to us monks in Bodhinyana, the best gift that he could receive is that people got into jhanas and lived the teachings and help continue the lineage of the Buddha for many millennium to come. So Ajahn and dear supporters around the world, have a great birthday, have a great year, be kind and generous to each other. May you be well, may you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be kind. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.